shape, and form. Whoa! Whoa! Shape is a two-dimensional formation of connecting lines, such as a square, circle, or triangle. Form is a three-dimensional structure, like a cube, sphere, or pyramid. Both form and shape can be geometric or organic. Today, we will explore two different artists and the way they use shape and form, Sheila Hicks and Carol Walker. Here is Sheila Hicks' piece, Perpetual Migration. It was created from 2016 to 2017. It is a multimedia sculpture, meaning she used many different materials. Some of these are bamboo, acrylic fiber, slate, coins, cotton, and metal wire. Can you tell which of these materials are man-made and which of them are organic? Sheila Hicks is an American artist, living and working in France, and is part of the postmodern art movement. She learned about pre-Columbian textiles from Chilean artisans. In the piece, Perpetual Migration, Hicks is using textiles and found materials to create abstract forms. She wraps colorful yarn, thread, and fabric around bamboo rods, adding in other domestic, found objects to make a collection of these totemic sculptures. Do the forms seem organic or geometric? Why? What do you see when you look at the sculpture? Does the title change the narrative of the piece for you? Now that we have seen how one artist uses shape and form, let's look at another who uses them very differently. Kara Walker is a contemporary American artist. Her work focuses on power dynamics and issues of race, gender, and sexuality. When she was a teenager, her family moved from California to Georgia. Her work is informed by the racism she endured and her research into the history of slavery, specifically in the pre-Civil War South. She is a multimedia artist, but is best known for her silhouette wall installations, similar to the piece we are looking at today. A silhouette is the outline of a person or scene, often cut out of black paper and placed on a white background. Here is Kara Walker's piece, African slash American. It was created in 1998 using linoleum cut on Rives BFK paper. We are looking at a single form, a flat black color. It is cut from linoleum, a material similar to rubber, and adhered to a piece of stark white paper. She is simplifying the shape while creating a deeper commentary with the shadowed shape. Walker describes African slash American as your essentialist token slave maiden in midair. By using caricatures, she brings the viewer into her fable-like narratives as either the oppressor or the oppressed. She is using the silhouette as a shadow, confronting today's audience with the horrors from the United States past and drawing connections to race and gender today. How does Kara Walker's representational piece change the narrative as opposed to Sheila Hicks' abstract artwork? How do you think the artworks would change if the scale of the shapes and forms were different? After viewing both pieces, our resident artist, Jess, decided to make her own artwork. She was interested in the differences between two-dimensional shape and three-dimensional form. In her piece, she takes the silhouette of the equal sign, which has been adopted as a symbol for equality within the LGBTQ community. Inspired by the powerful simplicity of Walker's work, she wanted to make the equality symbol the focal point of the artwork. By contrasting the geometric shapes with Hicks' bright colors, she emphasizes the equality symbol on the page. Sewing bulky items onto her artwork, she is creating these dimensional forms and textures. Similar to Hicks, Jess uses objects found in her home, such as yarn, clothespins, 
a wire hanger, plastic gloves, and strips cut from shirts. The use of these day-to-day -day materials emphasizes the cultural relevance of her message. What can you make with objects and materials found around your home? What symbols, shapes, or forms would you want to use in your own piece? This program is brought to you by the Artist Year AmeriCorps Fellows of the Class of 2020. Artist Year, AmeriCorps' first national program for artists to dedicate themselves to a year of service to our country. For more information about Artist Year, visit www.artistyear.org.